We're counting down to the Oscars, and you're going to be there one day. I can feel it. Yeah. We're counting down to Oscar Sunday here on GMA, just over a week away. And we take a look now. One of the surprise contenders for Best Picture, Philomena. ABC's Bianca Goldrigo sat down with the movie's star, who also received an Oscar nod for writing. Here's a look. <laughs> They're the odd couple that have taken movie critics by storm. I had a hip replacement last year, Martin. Right. Yes. And it's titanium, so it won't rust. Oh. It's a good job, otherwise I'd have to oil you like the Tin Man. Philomena is based on a true story about an Irish woman played by Judy Dench who travels to the U.S. to track down the son she was forced to give up for adoption when she was a teenager. Best Steve Coogan plays a hard-bitten journalist who decides to write about Philomena's quest and tags along. If it would be possible not to use my real name when you write the story, what about Anne Boleyn? We're going to have to use your real name, Philomena. That's the way these things work. You not only star in it, but you produced it and you co-wrote. What, what drove you to this story? I read it in the newspaper four years ago. If you had a child out of wedlock uh, 50 years ago in Ireland, your family would often disown you. And so these uh, mother and baby homes were set up and you're a young woman who was pregnant, you'd go in there, you'd have your child. The child would be sold uh, to a Catholic, often uh, an American, wealthy American couples. Did Philomena's story impact your views on the, the church at all? It did actually because, uh, I mean, I, I'm from a Catholic uh, background, o although I'm not religious now, I'm glad that I had that education because I've taken, I think I've taken the good stuff from it. Much of this modest movie success is owed to the chemistry between Coogan and his leading lady who play characters with almost nothing in common. Should we go for a walk? Get rid of the jet lag. He said he wants to visit the Lincoln Memorial. We could go and see Mr. Lincoln, or we could watch on television Big Mama's House. One of the other reasons this movie really resonates is because of this unbelievable connection the two of you have and this chemistry. We, we sort of burst the bubble very quickly. She made fun of me, you know, accused me of having Botox and <laughs> collagen implants and all the rest, which I don't. Um, and she... <laughs> this touching film has been nominated for multiple Oscars, and guess who's keeping count? We've got four. It's uh, very exciting. Listen, I, I didn't even think that we'd get this far, so it's all icing on the cake for me. But no matter who takes home an Oscar next month, Philomena's message has made it a clear winner with audiences everywhere. For Good Morning America, Bianca Goladriga, ABC News, New York.